everyone! So today we are now in the last lesson for the third quarter or the, for the eighth week. And our lesson is about circumference of a circle. Let's watch this. So today we are now in week 8 of quarter 3 and our last topic is about the circumference of a circle. So what is circumference? Circumference is the distance around a circle. The ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter is about 3 and 14 hundredths. So what is 3 and 14 hundredths? So it is a pi. So it is symbol ng pi. So pi spelled as pi and is read as pi pi with a value of 3.14. Actually, hindi lang 3.14 yan. Meron pa mga kasunod, but para maging uh, fix ang number natin, ginawa na lang natin na 3.14. So, formula for the circumference is c equals pi times d or c equals 2 times pi times r. So, where d is the diameter and r is the radius. So, kung ang given natin ay diameter, ang gagamitin nating formula is the first formula. Kapag naman radius ang given, itong second formula ang gamitin natin. Okay. So, let's have an example. So, given a circle with d or diameter equals 48 inches. So, ang given natin, diameter na 48 inches. So, ang gagamitin nating formula is c equals pi times d. So, wherein pi is equivalent to 3.14 and 48 inches yung diameter. So, let us multiply like a whole number. So, 3.14 times 48. 8 times 4 equals 32, carry 3. 8 times 1 equals 8 plus 3 equals 11, carry 1. 8 times 3 equals 24 plus 1 equals 25. Next, 4 times 4 equals 16, carry 1. 4 times 1 equals 4, plus 1 equals 5, 4 times 3 equals 12. Now, let us add the partial product. 2, 7, 10, 5, then 1. So, apply natin ang rule ng multiplication of decimals. Since may decimal point, may decimal ang ating given. So, 1, 2, move natin, going to the right. Ganun din ang sagot, going to the left naman. 1, 2. So, ang circumference ng diameter ng 48 inches is equivalent to 150.72 inches. Don't forget to write the unit. Pag walang unit, mali. Okay. How about, how about kung ang given natin ay circle with radius 5 cm? As we all know, uh, kalahati ng diameter ang radius. So, given natin ang radius na 5 cm, so meaning ang gagamitin natin formula is C equals 2 times pi times R, wherein circumference equals C, uh, 2 times 3.14 times 5 cm. Para mas madali tayong magmultiply, unahin natin yung whole number na dalawa, yung una, nga sa dulo, una at yung dulo. So, 3.14 times, 2 times 5 equals 10 C. So, mas madaling magmultiply. Actually, meron tayong shortcut niyan, yung since 10 ang mamultiply natin. Pero gamitin natin yung long method. So, 3.14 times 10. So, eh, 0. Any number multiplied by 0 is 0. So, tatlong 0. Then, multiplied by 1. So, any number multiplied by 1, eh, the number itself. So, 1 times 4, 4. 1, then 3. Then, let us add. So, 0, 4, 1. So, move natin decimal point, 1, 2. So, answer natin, 1, 2, pabalik. So, meaning, ang circumference natin is 31 and 4 tenths centimeter. How about kung ang given naman natin or yung nahan ng circumference ay nasa uh, problem? So, take a look at the problem below. Rimuru Tempas has built a circular pond in the Jura Tempas Federation as part of their verification project. The pond has diameter of 20 meters. What is the distance around the pond? So, say distance around the pond. Hanapin natin na circumference. 
So, to solve the problem, let us have the following steps. Step, read and understand. So, as we read and understand, understand, let us answer what is asked in the problem. And the answer is the distance around the pond. How do you know, what do you know of the problem? So, the diameter of the pond is 20 meters or simply what is the given number? Huh? Step 2, plan. What must be done to solve the problem? So, the term distance around refers to the circumference and therefore, we need to solve for that. So, C equals pi times D and pi is approximately 3.14. So, meaning the number sentence of the problem is 3.14 times 20. Ulang, lagay natin yan ng 20, 20 meters equals C. So, solve natin and key answer. Carry out the plan and write the final answer. 3.14 times 20 meters equals 62.80 meters. So, meaning the circumference of the circular pond is 62.80 meters or 62 and 8 tenths meters. Pwede natin tagalin yung zero. So, hello. And step four, let us check. Is the answer correct? So, paano natin malalaman kung tama ang sagot natin? We check it by division. You can see that it is correct since the quotient match the given diameter. As we all know, counterpart ng multiplication is division. Our reference for today's week for our lesson is Pivot for a Learner's Packet, third quarter, week 8. And textbook, 21st Century Math Leads, 5 to pages 294 to 299. Thank you for watching. Thank you, my dear Road to 1,000 subscribers. I am your teacher, Carmen. And don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye!